forces clamped down last week on a fundamentalist Muslim movement known as the Salafists. Across the country, hundreds of police raided buildings and seized material. One grouping was formally banned on the grounds it's anti-constitutional. Now, Germany's roughly 4,000 Salafists are a tiny minority within the 4 million Muslims who live here, but the authorities believe they are fostering militancy among marginalized young Muslims. The decision to move against them comes after violent clashes last month during which Salafists attacked and injured 29 police officers, two of them seriously. Born at the beginning of May, radical Salafists in uproar. They've been provoked by Germany's far-right pro-NRW party, which is displaying caricatures of Mohammed. Violence unleashed. One of the Salafists brutally stabs a policeman. Is this an isolated incident or part of their radical ideology? A little earlier at the demonstration, we came across a man with a camera. His name is Reda Seyam, and he knows the Salafist scene better than almost anyone else. Reda Seyam is a German citizen with Egyptian roots and a colorful past. He is purported to have had close connections with Islamic terrorists. We meet him in a park in Berlin. He's granted us a very rare interview and has promised to speak openly about the aims and opinions of the Salafists. A young convert is allowed to film the interview alongside us. Allah has said that the Quran is perfect, consummate. That's it, the end. We are called on to wage a battle against those who fight Islam. That's what we'll do until our dying day. Reda Seyam fights for the supremacy of Islam. As a cameraman, he promotes propaganda for his religion, but that's not all. Claudia Danjka is an expert on Islam at the well-known Center of Democratic Culture in Berlin, which provides information about extremism. According to her, Young Salafists consider Reda Seyam a role model. He's managed to establish his own community in Berlin, where he works with young people and molds them to his own purposes. And of course he appears all around the country whenever there's a need for propaganda in support of radical Salafism. Salafists interpret the text of the Quran literally and distribute thousands at information stands in the hope of spreading their message. Reda Sayam supports the campaign with his news website Al Risala, which means the message. His impression is that the Quran in the hands of the Salafists is harmless. Is distributing the Quran in German a danger to German society? No way, definitely not. But what do radical Salafists think about people who openly reject the Quran? We must pass on this message. And if someone tries to prevent that, it means they're standing in Allah's way. If someone says, I advise you not to take the Quran, is that person in your eyes fighting against Islam? Yes, of course, because he's stopping the message being spread. Everyone is expected to think about Islam and what it can offer them. Either they subscribe to the message or they don't. And if they don't, they're officially an enemy. So opponents to Islam must be fought, as happened in Bonn. From the perpetrator's point of view, police officers are servants to the state, which allows the prophet to be offended. Radical Salafists use videos to justify violence against those who don't believe. We charge forward with honor without fearing the non-believers. They should watch their language. They should hold their tongue before attacking God's soldiers. Allah will either guide their tongue or destroy it. Until their heads roll. Whoever insults the Prophet must pay for it with their life. This decree, which sounds like something from the Middle Ages, is circulating online. German holy warriors abroad, like Yasin Chauka, also lean towards this belief. In an internet message, he targets media outlets that show caricatures of Mohammed. His demands of his brothers? Lie and wait for your co-workers, kill them, and teach them a lesson they'll never forget. What does Reda Sam say to the decree? Islam decrees to kill anyone who insults the Prophet. 
We can't do anything about it if Allah and his messenger have prescribed it. But who should do it, I can't tell you. That's up to each individual. A death warrant in defense of Islam. In the eyes of radical Salafists, whoever enforces it acts in the name of Allah. We show the interview to the Bavarian interior minister Joachim Hermann. This kind of declaration is something new and spoken in such clear language that anyone who stands in the way of Islam should be beheaded. And that obviously includes journalists. It depends how you cut and edit this video. We can see and hear whether it's anti-Islam. That's how we can tell who's fighting it and who isn't.